So you got yourself an access virus and you're wanting to figure out the best Ableton setup? Stick around, I'm going to show you how. Welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Marshall. Appreciate you being here. Let me talk about the Access Virus. The Virus TI and TI2 are very special synthesizers because the TI stands for Total Integration. What does that mean, Marshall? Well, what it means is that Access, the people at Access Music have developed a plugin, basically, that can be tossed into a digital audio workstation and allows not only full control over the front panel there or the inner the inner workings of the synthesizer for sound design etc uh, but it also has the ability to pass audio over three stereo usb channels um, which is really cool so one cable passes three separate stereo um, stereo channels of audio back to your daw with no other cables hooked up and it does not take the place of your uh, actual audio interface so this is cool um, but the ultimate setup what do you mean by that well it can be a little bit cumbersome getting the access virus configured into a DAW like Ableton Live now Ableton Live is my DAW of choice so this is a project file that uh, I will make available for you in the video description if you'd like to download this uh, you can just plop this into your DAW and you're pretty much good to go and I'm just gonna kind of take you through the ins and outs of what I've done here so here it is. This is the Virus TI2 section. Um, it will look like this on your desktop. Uh, you just navigate to the folder where you will download this ALS file. You just drop this into Ableton and you're good pretty much. Um, so it looks like not a lot, but the thing is, this is the cool thing about this. With Ableton 10, and this will only work in Ableton 10 by the way because it allows for groups within groups, um, you can group these, these sections and make your, your DAW look nice and pretty again without having a huge trail of stuff. Now, why is this the ultimate setup? Well, basically, I've done all the hard work for you with the configuration in this project. So you just drop this in, and again, when you drill down, uh, I have segmented these into MIDI and audio sections. So let's take a look at the MIDI section, and in here you can see there are 16 channels of MIDI already set up for you. Um, you don't have to do anything except write in your MIDI in the specific channel that you want. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Virus TI plugin, I'll just briefly talk about that. And to show you where that's hiding in this project, uh, let me show you. So we go into the Virus Audio. Let's drill down into that. Uh, virus Outputs. And here is the USB output. So Virus USB outs, um, And I have the Virus plugin hiding right here, right in front of us. So here it is. This is the Virus. TI plugin and this has made my life so much easier. I literally use this instead of the front panel. You can see all my knobs are at like the zero position, <laughs> like everything's turned all the way to the left because I've never touched the front panel of the synthesizer. I've pretty much used this plugin um, and that's it. So let's talk about it. So if you're unfamiliar with this, 1 through 16, these correspond to the channels, the MIDI channels that we were just talking about that I have already set up for you in this project. And what you can do is basically select uh, a sound to put on that particular channel. This is a, a timbre, basically. So you can, this is a 16-part multi-timbral synthesizer. And so in this particular track that I'm working on, I'm using 1 through 3, 1, 2, and 3. Um, now if we come into one of these, let's say this is number three, if we go into the common section, this is actually where you're going to route your audio. And this is important because I've already set up groups uh, in this project with the audio routing for you. So all you have to do is pick the correct one and you're done. Like in this case, so um, this uh, uh, timbre three is routed to USB three left and right. So if we shut that off and we go into here we go, USB 3, because we're in the USB output. See? See how I've done that? USB output 3, and you can see this is already routed. Audio from virus plugin. Well, this is virus plugin. And number 3, this is number 3. Number 2 would be here. Now I've got this, this will look a little different on yours, um, but basically, virus 2 is USB 2, okay? And then number 1 is actually the post or pre effects uh, up here. These uh, correspond to output one. Now we uh, USB output one. You could actually use this same plugin 
uh, section here for USB one if you want. That's totally your prerogative, but I have uh, just to make this easy to where there's no plugins, you can just toss on your effects like I've done here and capture your audio and you're good to go. Uh, so if you were gonna route to an analog output, cause the virus does have six uh, um, analog outputs, um, three stereo pairs basically, uh, and they correspond here, one, two, and three, left and right. If you drill down into this, you have your left and your right, just in case you wanna output separate audio channels to or separate timbres to each uh, channel, you can do that here. Now, how does this work? So in this track that I have here, um, I have already kind of been working on this. This is actually a track that I was working on yesterday for my live stream because I live stream on Saturdays. Anyone interested in watching me work on stuff? That's what I do. Uh, but I have worked on this some more today, decided to utilize the plugin. And while I was at it, I was like, I should just make a video about this um, and give this away to you guys. So let's just let's just talk about this. So uh, if we want to say, let's say we want to capture audio from this MIDI channel one. Well, if we go over here to number one, uh, I'm writing this into the USB channel one. I'm just going to switch these into auto. And we're going to capture this. And actually, I could probably only probably do this with one. And it doesn't matter. Let's uh, enable, let's arm the recording and hit record on our track. So this is playing back from MIDI 1, right here, into this audio section. As you can see. And that would be a loop. So let's play it back if we just solo this. And that's how you that's how you do it. I mean, it's really that easy. You sequence your MIDI uh, route. Make sure your routing is done in your plugin, like we talked about. Like in this case, number one is being routed to USB output one, left and right. And then we come over to that corresponding channel, enable a recording, hit record on the uh, scene that we want, and we're done. Got it. Piece of cake, easy as pie. So if you have any questions about this, just let me know. My name's Marshall. I'm a nice person, and I will answer any questions you have. Um, recommendations on any changes to this, I'm definitely open to that as well. Uh, this seems to be a pretty intuitive way, though, I think. And for people that uh, this might be a little confusing or cumbersome, all you have to do is literally plop this into your DAW and just go into the, um, the audio outputs, go into the... Uh, uh, virus USB outputs. Make sure your plugin is set here. This is 5.1.7, I believe. I believe that's the latest version out right now. Uh, if you have an earlier version, you can just come in here, delete this, and drop in, drop in your proper, your proper uh, uh, version. And uh, after that, everything's done for you. So, pretty sweet. I'm just gonna make this back the way it was because I'm still working on this tune. <laughs> So yeah, why don't we play us out here with this? Some good stuff. And I'm soloed. You can hear all that virus goodness coming in there. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Bye, everyone. <laughs>